The major changes to the New York Vehicle Inspection Program Generation 3, or NYVIP 3, are now all inspections will be entered into a computerized vehicle inspection system, or CVIS, and the CVIS will print the annual inspection certificates. This change primarily impacts motorcycle inspection stations and non-NYMA heavy-duty truck inspection stations. In this section, we will cover how to properly use the NYVIP3 CVIS to perform safety-only vehicle inspections on motorcycles, including CVIS system access, vehicle data entry, entering safety inspection results, test completion, print inspection certificate, print vehicle inspection report, VIR, and transmit records to vehicle information database, VID. Before proceeding with a motorcycle safety inspection, check the status indicators on the left-hand side of the vehicle inspection menu. The icon should be green or black, indicating no problems exist. Any red icons, such as a lockout, indicates you won't be able to successfully complete the inspection. Address the cause of red indicators before proceeding with vehicle inspection. From the vehicle inspection menu, click on the safety emissions bar or press the number one key. The safety emissions menu will open. Click on the motorcycle bar or press the number three key. A pop-up window will open for you to enter your inspector credentials. Remember to face the monitor and webcam while logging into the CVIS. Scan your ID badge and key in your password into the text box. When you are identified, a box appears in the pop-up window with the status of your inspection licenses. To proceed with motorcycle inspections, the MC icon needs to be green and indicate current. When you have been authenticated, the NYVIP3 software automatically performs a data file refresh to prepare for the motorcycle inspection. The NYVIP3 software allows for three different methods for obtaining the motorcycle's vehicle identification number, or VIN. The preferred method is to scan the 2D barcode on the registration document. If this method is not available, two other manual VIN data entry methods are provided, barcode scanning and manual keyboard entry. Barcode scanning and manual keyboard entry will require double entry of the VIN. To use the keyboard, type the 17-character VIN. You must re-enter the VIN using blind entry for verification. You will only be allowed to proceed when both VIN entries match. Click on the Cancel button to cancel the inspection. Otherwise, Click on the Continue button to perform a VID Previous Test VIN Lookup. The Performing VID Previous Test VIN Lookup screen is displayed when the NYVIP3 software is searching the VID for previous records, verifying the VIN and other vehicle record data. If the VIN or motorcycle exists in the VID database, you will see Previous Test Information Found displayed in the lower section of the Performing VID Previous Test Registration Lookup screen. In the Lookup Results box, the Previous Test Data Found item will be green and a green check mark will be displayed. The VIN Decode Performed item will be red and a red X will be displayed. The VID system does not decode motorcycle VINs. If no matching data found is displayed in the lower section of the Performing VID Previous Test Registration Lookup screen, the vehicle does not exist in the VID and vehicle data must be entered manually. With many previous motorcycle safety inspections having been recorded only on DMV VS 1074M forms, chances are the records for many motorcycles will not be present on the VID at the onset of the NYVIP3 program. 
The NYVIP3 software provides a data entry screen to enter all required data. To enter the plate, click in the plate text box and enter the plate information using the keyboard. Move to the Select Testing Parameters section of the screen. Using the pull-down menus in the text boxes to correct or select the motorcycle's year, vehicle type, weight code, and whether the motorcycle is registered in the downstate NYMA area. Next, select the vehicle's primary fuel type. Then, scroll through the motorcycle manufacturers, selecting the correct manufacturer from the pull-down list. And finally, you can key in an optional model at the bottom of the Select Model pull-down list. When all data is correct, click on the Continue button to proceed with entering mileage and performing a final review. Click the Continue button to proceed. The odometer entry screen opens. You will need to enter the odometer reading twice. Round to the nearest mile. The software will not advance if both entries do not match. The final vehicle data entry screen is displayed. Carefully review all the information on the inspection data summary screen. If any of the data items are incorrect, click on the corresponding button and the software will go back to a previous screen to change the data. When all the data is correct, click Continue to proceed to the safety inspection. Based on the VIN information entered in CVIS, the NYVIP3 system has determined this is a motorcycle and will receive a safety-only inspection. Click the Continue button to proceed. A pop-up window will appear asking whether the external sticker media is installed in the sticker printer. The external stickers are used on motorcycles where they are applied to a surface such as a front fork or sticker plaque. Information on changing sticker media can be found in the Use and Maintenance of the NYVIP3 CVIS section of this program or in the NYVIP3 CVIS User Manual. Click on the Yes button when the correct sticker media is loaded into the sticker printer. Next, perform a safety inspection on the motorcycle in the same manner as you've inspected motorcycles in the past. Enter the steps you performed while checking the brakes into the Brake Wheels Check Information screen. Click on the options you performed from the Unselected Options text box to move them to the Selected Options text box. Click on Continue when complete. A Motorist Advisory Question screen concerning correct tire pressure is next. Click on either the Yes or No button, then click on Continue to proceed. The main safety inspection entry screen opens. The eight safety items list starts off with all items unchecked. Click on each of the items and then enter your testing results for each item by clicking the appropriate response button on the right side of the screen. Choose from pass, fail, not equipped, or pass all items. Click Continue to proceed with the inspection. If the motorcycle fails the safety inspection, the process moves directly to printing a fail VIR. If the motorcycle passes the safety inspection, the process moves on to printing the inspection certificate. A sticker issuance pop-up is displayed, reminding you that the external sticker media needs to be installed and that the sticker printer is online. When verified, click the OK button to print the inspection certificate. To proceed with the inspection, answer the sticker issuance pop-up question indicating the inspection certificate printed properly. Selecting Yes allows the inspection to proceed. Selecting No will result in the reissuance of a new sticker. On the Sticker Assignment screen, 
enter the number that is printed on the sticker media into the actual printed sticker number box by scanning the barcode in the lower left corner of the inspection certificate. The number entered into the actual printed sticker number box should be the same as the number in the expected sticker number box to proceed. If the two numbers do not match, a sticker or range of stickers must be voided. This process is covered in the use and maintenance of the NYVIP3 CVIS section of this program or in the NYVIP3 CVIS user manual. Affix the sticker on the motorcycle to a permanent structural member on the left front side, such as a front fork or sticker plaque. When sticker placement has been verified, the software continues to print the VIR. After entering the actual inspection sticker number, the NYVIP3 CVIS automatically creates and prints a VIR for the inspection. The inspection file is sent to the VIR printer for output. The VIR can be viewed or reprinted at the end of the inspection or at a later time using the VIR reprint function. At the end of the motorcycle safety inspection, the NYVIP3 software calculates an overall inspection pass or fail. If the motorcycle passes the safety inspection, the software generates a pass VIR. If the motorcycle fails the inspection, the software generates a fail VIR. The failed VIR will list which safety items failed inspection.